Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I have for you another brilliant chess game. Let's follow this game till end. Alireza Firuja playing with white pieces and Parham Mark Soudlou playing with black pieces. We can see 2024 second round and this game is something what I called chess beauty. Maybe in the past some uh, people were asking where is Alireza Firuja? What is doing Alireza Firuja? Why he is not playing chess? And the answer was that he was active in fashion industry. And uh, it was unlucky because uh, Alireza is a great, super talented chess young player and his future was bright. And lots of people were asking if there is any chance that Alireza will come back. And yes, lucky he is back and he is playing amazing chess. And you know, let's see what he is going to play right now because that was a brilliant chess game. So uh, now we are following Berlin defense. Berlin defense used to be a really solid, safe opening choice for the black, which held nearly any risk, but let's watch this game because you know sometimes everything is different d4 and now rook e1 rook e8 and bishop f4 yes this pawn is for free just imagine that black is taking rook on e1 white has to take back and now white is losing pawn on d4 for nothing or for something and that's a question where is white's compensation and you will see that white is absolutely okay so black took rook or exchanged the rooks and after one more move now he won a pawn bishop d4 extra pawn for black where is uh, black's material advantage and where is white's compensation for this material disadvantage that's a question because after knight d5 and bishop g5 it's a clear that black has no chance to take this bishop because there is checkmate in one right so maybe queen d7 but uh, this move is too passive and that's exactly the point of this opening choice let's compare black pieces and white pieces and let's see the difference between white's active pieces and black passive pieces you know queen e4 and for example knight e7 and now bishop d3 and queen h4 that's only variation but a really dangerous variation for black Black is playing without any counter attack, any counter blows, and he's too passive. And probably, just think about this position. I think that probably Black is nearly losing this position. So let's come back because what we remember, we remember move Bishop G5 and F6, and now Bishop B2. So second pawn, fourth down. And still, uh, there is same question. Where is White's compensation for second missing pawn? And my another question is, if you enjoying this video, please follow our YouTube chess channel. Press follow button and follow, 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 follow us and make me happy. So I believe you pressed follow button and now let's come back because the chess beauty is waiting for us of course now rook b1 and f4 the story about this game is that white is playing everywhere with all his army at the same time black is absolutely too passive you know black pieces what they are doing on the last rank just question just imagine 
imagine what is doing this rook on a8 bishop knight queen you know different between white and black's army is the difference between material and white's full compensation for missing two pawns okay that's not everything of course bishop e6 uh, bishop c4 check and now bishop f7 still white has to attack because white is two points down and there is no room for waiting moves there is no rooms for passive moves so queen e4 nice attack because at least this bishop is under attack and maybe pawn on h7 just think about this pawn um it's a target so bishop c5 and now knight e7 and that's a beautiful move you know just why if black is going to h8 is losing a piece if it's going to uh f8 white is taking on h7 wow and now two white minor pieces are hanging so it's a question to be or not to be it's a question to take knight or bishop on c4 and uh, black decided to take uh, bishop on c4 just imagine that black is taking knight on e7 there is a check uh, if black is going to d7 is losing bishop if he's going to uh, f8 here is a check and checkmate simple but strong of course so bishop c4 make a sense and now uh, rook e1 okay not two pawns down two pawns and peace for attack against black's passive position and that's the style of alireza firuja as i told you a real chess beauty now what to play i'm going to play a really bad move to show you fred just imagine bad move c6 check and checkmate so that's the fred and it's not easy to stop white to play these two moves so for this reason black decided to take on e7 and he's going to offer his queen looks like maybe um, for two or three minor pieces it's a good good deal for black but no way because check on e4 and now f5 and what is amazing move now it's that white is not hurry to take back a piece on e6 of course here he will take at any time this piece but he need to have active this bishop as well and this bishop is passive and now Alireza is going to play g4 g5 and is going to open position black's position is blow up and that is amazing game you know just g4 imagine how g4 is hard to find you know nearly everybody is taking bishop with smile and uh, nearly winning but uh, g4 it's even stronger now g5 take 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 and queen g4 what's the threat g8 f7 checkmate and now as black how black is going to defend his position and to be clear black is losing in every variation and now we are following the last stage of this game beautiful beautiful victory of young alireza firuja and looks like he is back he is back he is strong maybe he's stronger than before and everything is possible because this guy can be one day world chess champion d5 now um, bishop g3 take take and of course h4 and that's a winning pawn h5 6 7 and thank you for a full point only three or four moves uh, and white is 
winning. So, okay, e4, h5, check, e7, check, take, thank you for bone, another bone, and h6, and black resign it. Wow, what a game, what an attack, what a compensation, what the brave moves and what an amazing victory of Ali Reza Viruja. Hope you enjoyed this video and if yes, feel free and press like or press follow and made my day and let's say well done Ali Reza because that was a brilliant game. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.